We've been really lucky to be um, start the tour off in a fantastic facility like this, which is um, really conducive to exposing the players to some new bits of technology and, and using existing pieces of technology. The gym aware um, units are basically a, a, a way to measure the velocity of, of the lifting for our players. They're lifting the bar as quick as they can and then we can have a bit of a look at um, how they're feeling on a daily basis and prescribe their weights. But there's a, an, an extricable link between um, velocity and um, the weight to lift so traditionally um, we've always um, prescribed uh, weights through um, a percentage of your 1RM, whereas this uh, this method means that you can come into a gym and possibly be fatigued, etc. So not capable of lifting what you would normally lift, and the velocity enables you to uh, to predict uh, where where you should actually be lifting. A lot of clubs back in Australia would have done some sort of sweat testing with their players to to individualise their hydration needs both through a game and and during uh, training and, and to prepare them four games as well so um, this method that we're able to source over here in England was a little bit different um, in terms of the method of collecting the sweat we just use a little bit of an electrode there to to elicit some sweat um, and then we're able to measure the composition of that sweat individually some of the players um, are more uh, or have a higher sodium content in their sweat so we're able then to replace those electrolytes and, and help them with their hydration. We have been able to um, employ a company or utilise a company called Synaptic which, um, which the players did a, a baseline test in Perth which basically measured their visual and, and sensory components so it was things like um, reaction times, ability to make right decisions, depth perception, um, peripheral visions but also some strobe glasses so they're quite a, uh, a novelty in terms of being able to restrict the amount of visual input that the players get so um, we, we just got them doing some simple tasks which just catching and passing a ball with, with these uh, glasses on and it makes the uh, task quite difficult. Kitman Labs is a, again a, a relatively new company that's been able to utilise some pretty basic technology in, in the form of some 3D cameras that are used in simple things like Xbox machines and Playstations, write some really great software for that and allow us to do some functional screening that would normally take us up to sort of two or three hours to do in a biomechanics lab and we can get that done in two minutes um, just through the use of their technology so it's it's a great tool for us to have a look at how the players are tracking throughout the course of the tour and if there's any issues there that our physios and, and strength and conditioning staff can really make sure that we're addressing those problems and ensuring that the players are at their best from a performance point of view and uh, limiting any injuries as well. Australian NRL clubs are, are very, very good in terms of their sports science and, and probably lead the world in that sort of, um, in that, from that point of view. So being able to find things that maybe they haven't been exposed to um, is great for us. So we can sample it from a staff point of view and, and act as the game's research and development as well.